Take over, take over, I got it. We duck, no smoke, we die, no smoke, we duck, no smoke, we die, no smoke, we duck, we duck, we dodge, we dodge, we duck, we duck, we dodge, no smoke, we duck. All right, this video, we're gonna test out my 2021 Tesla Model Y performance and it's a May 2021 build, so there's no radar. And we wanna see how it works at night. We're gonna get on the highway, we're gonna get behind some cars, we're gonna interact with traffic as much as we can to see how the radarless system works, cameras only. To the channel now, we got a lot of good videos coming, man. Here on Evapor's Tesla Racing Channel, we're gonna race this car. We're gonna do all kind of things. With this car, from basic videos to accessories to everything you can think of, man. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this Tesla, man. So tune in. I need you to tune in. Stay tuned in. More to come. So let's zoom in on our touch screen here. Let's zoom in on our touch screen as we pull up to this stop sign. Look at the stop sign there. Let's zoom in on our touch screen here. All right. Now, with autopilot, you have to have the automatic be uh, bright lights turned on. So that's a feature that has to always stay on in order to use autopilot at night. Or well, autopilot, period. Autopilot, period. It has to stay on. I know some people don't like the automatic uh, bright lights to come on. And if we get in the situation to where our automatic brights are on and the car is coming, then I'll make note of that. But I've used it before. Doesn't give me any problem. The, car, the, the, the automatic beam seems to always cut off when a car is approaching. So let's go ahead and engage autopilot. And this is like a back country road. And it's picking up the lines pretty good. This is an older road. The, the yellow lines are kind of faded white line is kind of faded so let's set our cruise and let's double tap twice down to engage autopilot okay it's engaged auto steer says that the speed maximum is 45 on this road that is that is correct so we're in autopilot and this auto steer is engaged it asked me to touch the steering wheel a little bit of pressure oh, I didn't do it in time let's engage again tap it down twice there we go now we're engaged. It's keeping us inside the blue lines. Inside the blue lines is inside these blue lines is where we want to be. So the autopilot is working just fine. Okay, it's asking for slight pressure. There we go. And we're coming up on a curve. The bright lights are, are on now. We're going around the corner. Okay, nice corner. Nice corner. Asking me to grab the steering wheel again, and I did. Car's coming, the bright lights are not on. All right. Bright lights are on. Uh, it's asking for turning force. There we go. It's doing great. It's doing great. Now, once we start engaging in traffic behind, okay, bright lights shifted off. All right, engage the steering wheel. Going around this turn and ask for that. All right, the bright lights are back on. No cars are coming in front of us. Maintaining. And there is a car that's about to come over this hill. Bang, it shifted just like that. Shifted just like that. A little bit of steering wheel pressure. Bright lights are on as we're heading into this turn. Heading into a turn, it's asking for steering wheel pressure. We're gonna give it the steering wheel pressure and we're about to be on the highway here in a second. And we'll hopefully get behind some traffic and see how the camera system works versus from what people are saying that they prefer the, the radar system. But y'all know how Tesla works. When they make a change, they make a change. <laughs> you kind of just have to roll with it. Now, I'm new to Tesla. This is my first Tesla. 
So all I know is the camera system. That's all I know. I don't know how the, the radar works. I'm gonna speed up here a little bit so we can go ahead and get to the highway. I don't know how the radar system works. Well, that's not true. The test the, the test drive that I, I drove was a 2020, so um, but I, I wasn't really paying attention to, you know, I'm using the radar system versus uh, using the camera system. But we just wanna see how it picks everything up, especially at nighttime, that's the ultimate test. Stop sign, picking it up really, really good. Now there aren't two stop signs there. It showed two two stop signs on the screen. Let's go back in on that. All right, let's make our turn and get up here to the highway. All right, we're approaching the highway right now. I'm going to make a right turn up here, and I had a little thing that flashed up. It says uh, right door pillar camera blocked or blinded. So it says uh, clean camera or wait for it to regain visibility. So let's see how autopilot works with this uh, alert. Let's see. Let's see how it works with this alert. Make a right turn onto the highway. Okay. All right, let's see how it works on the highway with that right camera message. Cruise control. Autopilot. This is the camera system. There's no radar. Um, it's picking up the car in front of me, as you can see here. You can see it right there. It's picking up the car right in front of me. Seems to be working just fine to me on this nighttime move. So let's go pull over and check about wiping that camera off over here in the, the local Walmart. Let's disengage the autopilot. All right, guys, we hopped out, we cleaned the camera off. Um, I didn't see anything on the camera. Who knows, maybe it's just a, a error and it reset. Everything seems to be fine right now. So we're gonna get back on the highway Hopefully engage with a little bit of traffic and test out our autopilot again. All right, we just engaged autopilot again. Of course, it's the camera system seems to be working fine. The right pillar camera error is not on. I wiped it off. I don't know if that what, what the original problem was or not, but I wiped the camera off and it seems to be working just fine. Every time cars come on the other side of the highway, the uh, automatic dimming seems to be working just fine because you have to have the automatic dimming on for brights in order for this new camera system to work. So we're going around a curve here, as you can see. Maintaining the lane. Seems like the camera system is working just fine. Ideally, I want to get behind a car at nighttime to see how it uh, sees everything from the traffic to the stoplights, the, the cars in front of me, behind me. And we'll uh, in engage some traffic here in a second when we get a little bit closer to town. There should be more cars. All right, we're a little closer in town. We got a little bit of traffic over here. So I'm gonna try to get behind the car and see what the camera system sees, how it works. Cruise control is on. All right. Autopilot is on now. We do have a car in front of us, as we can see on the screen. All right. About to go into a curve. It's maintaining the, the normal distance that we have it set to, about medium. Okay, that car is going into a different lane now. And now my speed is increasing. The truck in front of me is braking. The car is now braking. Going through a stoplight. 
It hasn't asked me to grab the wheel in a while. Seems like normally it asked me to, okay, there it is. As soon as I talk it up, it, it does it. So we have a car to my left and we have a truck in front of us that's speeding up and moving on out of the way. So my speed should increase. We're at our maximum speed on this road, 52 miles per hour. We're going around a curve and this truck is awfully close, which I don't like. I'm gonna take over. The truck was awfully close to me, almost like it was on purpose. I had to go back and look at the Tesla cam on that. That was kind of weird, awfully close. All right, our speed is going to increase to 55. Okay, this truck must like Teslas, I guess. There you go. Go ahead on down the road, buddy. Go ahead on where you're going. Have a good evening. All right, let's uh, move on up the highway a little further here. Take over, take over, I got it. Here we go. Autopilot, auto steer. Three lane highway. Pretty well lit out here. Camera system keeping everything in, in check. So far, so good for the camera system. I haven't seen any glaring items, any glaring issues. The only issue I did have was earlier, the uh, right pillar camera alert came on. So let's slow down as the speed limit goes down. That was the only issue. So, so far, the camera system seems to be working just fine. And my car is a May 20. 21 build. I ordered my car March 31st. I received my car June 4th. And it's a May 21 build car. No radar. Let me know what you think of the test. I think it did pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, how we can make the videos better what type of video you would like to see, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Like Steve POV, hit the thumbs up. Good friend of mine, by the way. We duck, no smoke. We die, no smoke. We duck, no smoke. We die, no smoke. We duck, we duck, we die.